Je m'appelle euh, Sambieni Mathias, détenu Berba et je suis né à, à Dababo. Matthias's beginnings were humble, but that didn't stop him from seeking adventure at an early age. After six years of school, he set out to see what life had to offer. He learned to trade in metalworking and then worked at three state-operated game parks. Life seemed to be problem-free. Then the trouble began. Matthias started to experience serious problems, forcing him to lose control of his life. One day, a peddler dropped by, offering teas and other items for sale. These teas were made from leaves and bark and seeds that are passed in front of a spirit to give them power. These products will help you in a special way, he said. Matthias was intrigued because he needed something to help him sleep better and to enhance his performance at work, as well as improve family matters. His mind made up, he chose to buy the products. But in fact, the opposite happened. He suffered even more at his job because then he couldn't sleep at all. He tossed and turned and couldn't do the job he was supposed to do at the game park. Matthias quit and returned home. But the problems then spread to his family. They stopped sleeping and they left home one by one. His home became empty. Then Matthias began to lose his mind. He would walk around in a daze, not knowing where he was going. Desperately, he went to different healers to find a solution, but no one could help. C'est ces problèmes qui m'ont laissé, je suis revenu à la maison. Je suis revenu à la maison, croyant avoir une solution, mais il n'est pas arrivé. Quand ma fille m'a amené contre le projet de religion, Missionaries Fidel and Susie Baldwin Notahu visited the village upon the request of Matthias's daughter. She asked them to pray for her father. When they arrived, Matthias came and sat down with the others, but he wouldn't make eye contact. After the meeting, however, Fidel asked Matthias if he would like to accept Jesus as his savior. Yes, he responded. Fidel then prayed for him and asked for deliverance. Deliver-le, Seigneur, psychologically. Deliver-le, Seigneur, spiritually. When he had finished, Matthias was a new man. His eyes were clear, and the weight which Satan had burdened him with was taken away. Matthias returned to normal. When I started to pray, I saw that there was a change in me. All the songs that I had, it changed. I gave it to Christ so that my health would improve more. Since his conversion, Matthias's children have come back to his house, and peace has entered his home. Today, Matthias is an active member of the Adventist Church in his village. He has brought most of his family into the church, and a number of people from his village as well. His changed life is a testimony to the power of God, and his ability to free people from the power of Satan. Voilà, en quelques, quelques mots, tout ce que, mon témoignage. 